in this video, we're going to be looking at exponent laws and how to simplify expressions containing exponents using the product rule, the quotient rule, and the power rule for grade 9 math. So the first one we're going to look at today is the product rule. The product rule is when we multiply powers with the same base, the base is the very large 2 in both of these expressions, we're going to add the exponents together. So it's very important that the base is the same using all of these rules or else these rules will not work. So make sure that the very large base number that isn't the exponent is always the same. So we're multiplying powers, as you can see with the multiplication signs. So we're going to add our exponents together. So our base is going to remain 2. And we're going to add our exponents, 2 plus 3. So we're going to get 2 to the power of 5. And to finish up our answer, if you can't do these exponents in your head, some of them can get very large and difficult, and put them into your calculator. But make sure you put in 2 to the power of 5 to get your final answer as 32. And that's it. It's all simplified. Now we're going to look at one with some negative numbers. So same thing as before, the base will remain 3, and we're going to add our exponents because we're multiplying. So we have negative 3 plus 6. So our new expression is going to be 3 to the power of 3, which is equal to 27. And that is the product rule. Next up, we're going to look at the quotient rule. So the quotient rule is sort of the opposite of the product rule. So when we're dividing powers with the same base, we're going to subtract the exponents. So with this one, the base will still remain the same. But because we're dividing, instead of adding our exponents like we do with multiplication, we have to subtract them in the order they appear in the expression. So it's going to be 3 to the power of 4 minus 3, which equals 3 to the power of 1. And anything to the power of 1 is just itself. So our final answer is going to be just 3. Next, we're going to look at 1 with some negatives. Base will remain the same. We have 1 minus negative 2. So remember, a double negative makes a positive. So our exponent's going to be 1 plus 2. So it's going to be 5 to the exponent 3. And 5 to the exponent 3 simplified is equal to 125. Watch out for the double negatives. Next up, we're going to look at the last thing, our power rule. So in the power rule, when finding the power of a power, we have to multiply our exponents. The easiest way to recognize when you use the power rule is there will be brackets with an exponent right next to another exponent. So for this one, we're going to multiply our exponents together. So we have 3 to the power of 2 times 3 which equals 3 to the power of 6. If we put that into our calculator, you should get 729 as your final answer. We're going to look at one more with the negatives once again. So base still 5. Our exponent is going to be negative 3 times negative 1. So remember when you multiply double negatives, they become a positive. So it's going to be 5 to the exponent 3, which we saw earlier. So that's going to be 125. And that is it for your three exponent laws. In the next video, we're going to look at simplifying algebraic expressions using exponent laws. So questions like these, but a little bit more difficult. All right.